Hi, uh, happy election day. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day for exactly four years. Four years. It's a long time. I was still a student back then. I was so young, so innocent. Here we go. Come look at it. Yes, I got Seth Meyers a closer look. If you don't know the closer look series, I recommend it. It's pretty good. Um, we haven't started yet. Oh, kind of exciting. And I actually get to go spend the day with my dad and his family. Um, and, you know, families have different views on things. Um, so I kind of wonder if they're going to bring up politics. You know? They can. It's fine. I mean, they probably will in passing. But, uh, just hope they don't bring up veganism or else the house is about to burn down. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... This is Gail, who are you? I got on Netflix last night and it just said Gail and my family doesn't have a Gail. So somebody got into our account, made an account named Gail. Anyway, still no election results yet. And the country is not burning. Um, as you see, just a little bit of construction. I don't know, I've, I've kind of wanted to make a video about, you know, my thoughts on the election and, uh, stuff like that, but it's difficult to appropriately articulate how one feels about things. <laughs> it's like so late. It's 1232. <laughs> Kidding, my mom's not here. <laughs> but I'm on my way to go see my grandma. Also, I, I said I was looking for my mom like two hours ago and no election results are still posted. That was a nice slur. Can you? <laughs> Cross the tri state, they support ship and ask that you. <sighs> my microphone really just fell off the top. Going home. Um, so far, Biden's leading, but like it's 0.05% of the vote, so so sad. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Biden's winning it means nothing this early, but it's nice to see. And in Ohio right now, if you can see it, um, uh, Biden's winning, and they haven't started counting Cincinnati, Hamilton County, which is almost always blue, which is huge that Toledo, Cleveland, and Columbus are pulling the weight of most of Ohio right now, and Cincinnati hasn't even come in, so I hope we're a blue state. You know, because Trump has sexually assaulted multiple women and raped his ex-wife. You know, kind of disgraceful for the office of the presidency. It's 11.20, and ah, Ohio looks like it's flipped. <sighs> so it's um it's 8:20 in the morning Wednesday. <sighs> Apparently, Donald Trump did something crazy and basically claimed a victory without all the votes being counted. I I I didn't see this coming and I'm very surprised that our criminal president would do something like this. I'm very surprised. <sighs> So if you know, like, the cities in America, they tend to vote more Democratic for various reasons, but um, my city's a little more conservative. You know, we're not like New York where 70% <laughs> are just gung-ho, you know, against fascism. Here they're a little more, you know, they like to play with fire as it, as it goes. Everything is totally fine. Making pancakes. <sighs> hey, Wisconsin. Welcome to the party. <laughs> yeah, so you can you can see Biden's winning and then Wisconsin was just taken. Um, right now, they, he's projected to win these, but they haven't called them yet. Um, so Michigan, which you can't see, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia are the ones out. North Carolina and Georgia, he's probably gonna lose. And then I think he's gonna take Pennsylvania and Michigan and... And ruin the lives of racist, bigoted farm folk. <laughs> is that does that does that sound shallow and bitter? It's been coming for four years. It's been building up, manifesting, festering, if you will, like trench foot. 
Huh? Like trench foot. So I will say I've talked to a lot of friends and, and family recently and, and we're all pretty stressed. The kind of thing was that everybody went to bed um, Tuesday night thinking that Donald Trump was, was really ahead. He had a lot of big victories. He was, he was way ahead in, in many different polls. Um, and then we all woke up kind of Wednesday morning with a different outlook. Um, we learned that like Michigan, Pennsylvania, many places had not even started um, counting absentee ballots, which ballots, which have been largely democratic because of coronavirus, right? Democrats think coronavirus is a big problem, generally speaking, and Republicans don't. So Republicans are more comfortable going to the polls and not social distancing, whereas like my family, we were worried about going to the polls. We don't want to be a part of that. Um, also safety, we know that Republicans are more pro-gun and honestly we were a little scared that there was going to be like i don't know voter intimidation luckily that hasn't happened from what i understand thank goodness but yeah it's um it's 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 way close right now again it's 4 p.m on wednesday november 4th um but biden has already pulled in more votes than any president in the history of the country which is interesting and he still could lose um, we know that Hillary won the popular vote but lost the Electoral College. We know that most, I think every Republican since the 90s has actually lost the popular vote. Um, which, talk about government disenfranchisement. <laughs> um, and also, just something to, to, to keep in mind, um, large-scale voter fraud does not happen in America. Donald Trump talks about it because he has no other way to stay in power. He's a scared fascist tyrant trying to cling to what little power he has left in this world because he doesn't have financial power. And the presidency is the only way that he can stay out of prison. And if you think I'm talking about conspiracy theories, then <sighs> just go visit QAnon for a second and then realize that like I'm actually pretty normal. Oh, or Prager University. Yeah, because conservatives are, are mad. Pun intended. Um, um, can you read it? I can't tell if you can read it or not. It says, Biden wins Michigan, CNN projects, reclaiming blue wall state, Trump won in 2016, propelling him, propelling him, propelling him closer to victory. Um, this isn't, this isn't even on the TV yet. I need to turn on some lights. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you won't win Georgia, Biden, but yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is. <laughs> Do you feel it? Do you feel it? I'm like sure, like if you support Trump, you don't watch me. You know, like I'm not like a political person, but you know, frolicking around Asia isn't something I think a lot of Republicans do. Is it? Check me. Maybe they do. I'm up to being surprised. I would like to be wrong. You know? Good Michigan. Thank you, Michigan. <laughs> it really made me nervous. <laughs> Nobody's stressed out at all. Okay, back home. Sorry about the <laughs> colors and weird light. Uh, anyway, um, where are we at right now? So Trump is still leading in Georgia, but they just are filing a lawsuit for some 50 votes. I don't know. The, uh, the Trump organization is flailing because they're, they're going down. As of right now, Wednesday night. And anyway, uh, Trump is actually leading Georgia by a lot. Um, and they have quite a few of the votes already in, and yet they're still already complaining about Georgia, which means that Georgia's probably, um, they think that they're gonna get a big amount of votes. And if Georgia goes blue, that's like the first time in my entire life that enough Democrats have <laughs> lived there. It sounds crazy that the demographics in our country have changed so much. Similar, like Ohio has been red for a while now, um, but when I was younger, it was 
one of the most, you know, fought over states. It's kind of cool. I don't know. Politics, doing weird stuff. Um, anyway, as of now, it looks like Joe Biden will win the election, although that is like still hopeful. You know what I mean? This really sucks that it's kind of taking so long, um, but I appreciate that they're being thorough. Um, I was looking at a YouTube comment and somebody said that uh, 10,000 votes magically appeared in both Michigan and like Wisconsin or like something crazy. It was like 100,000 votes over last night. They just appeared and none of the votes were for Trump. Like, this guy has to be from Russia. This has to be a Russian troll. You know what I mean? Like, what a stupid thing to say. And what, no major news channels are reporting on it? No, get the, get the hell out of here, dude. I am emotionally exhausted, though. That's, that's for sure. I don't know, I wanna know, I wanna know something. Do you guys, do you all think that Trump, uh, honestly, I would say the Republican Party attacks people more than the Democratic Party. You know, we, we can say racism and bigotry and, you know, the patriarchy. And while I, I totally believe that all of those things are a huge problem that are mostly perpetuated by the Republican Party, I don't know, like, can we say that it's pretty much an objective fact that Republicans are less compassionate than Democrats? Like, that's a huge question. But when Democrats are mad, they're mad at the actions of Republicans, right? Stop being racist. Stop killing us. Stop putting us in prison and taking us away from our families for nonviolent crimes. It just feel I feel like Republicans get mad at identities. You can't be in the military. You're a transgender. Why the who the fuck cares? <sighs> And we get mad and we're like, oh, you're triggered, the mob. And it's like, well, you are literally attacking us. You know, a Muslim woman gets elected into the House of Representatives and they're like, she's taking over our religion. We're like, stop being racist. Everybody in there is Christian, separation of church and state, but you don't give a shit about it. Like, you don't care. They don't care about separation of church and state as long as the church is Christianity. Is Christian? I don't know. So I'm, I'm curious, like, in the argument of, like, can you actually quantify compassion and can you compare the two parties in America? Like I gave you my perspective, like that's what I see often, but I'm curious like what the other side would say and what you would say, you know what I mean? Like it's not a fully developed thought and I'm open to be persuaded for sure. Um, so this is where we're at at the moment, any moment there should be Georgia and Arizona coming in, coming in with some votes. I'm excited. Hopefully they post before I go to sleep. Uh, hi. Just a quick little update before I go to sleep. It's the next day. Um, I wore a hat all day. Look at that nice greasy hair. Almost nothing has changed today. Um, on Thursday for the polls, unfortunately. But, um, the gap has narrowed in Arizona. Uh, Trump has, has gained more votes. Um, the gap has very much narrowed in Georgia. Uh, Biden's like 2,000 votes away, and the vote is narrowing in Pennsylvania as well. Someone said by the looks of it, he might, uh, Biden might win Pennsylvania by many thousands of votes, tens of thousands, maybe. Not contestable. It's just weird. It's a weird election, and my whole family is stressed. Um, I've posted some of the most upfront content on my Facebook page, just preferencing like I'm ready to fight, you know what I mean? Um, cause it's been nuts. It's been nutty. Um, I'm excited to get some sleep and, um, probably, probably by tomorrow the election will be called. Isn't it funny? Just one more day. <laughs> just one more day. Again, again. It's kind of like you destroy a Death Star, and then there's another Death Star, and then there's a third Death Star, and there's an entire death planet of world killing world battleships. Good night. <laughs> oh, Biden moved up in Pennsylvania and Georgia. <laughs> what a good day. 
What a good day. And let's not forget that evangelicals love Donald Trump. Even though he's had three wives and paid a $130,000 hush money payment to Stormy Daniels. He's the spitting image of good faith. <laughs> I'm so hot. I'm sweating. <laughs> I need to take this jacket off. Um, just got a little bit of news. Uh, ah, 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 ah. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't even know, um, I don't even know what, uh, what state flipped, um, to, to, to declare it. It was Pennsylvania, hey, hey. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Hey, the penguins play there. No, I look, I didn't take a shower this morning because I'm trash. <sighs> oh. So, by no means, like, we, we know that, like, we, you know, when Obama became president, racism wasn't cured. Right? Uh, imagine the Death Star. They built three of those things. Right? Because just when, you, when you destroy one, you replace it with somebody else. Right? You, you topple Bolsonaro, but the sentiment in the country still remains. Does that make sense? Um, like, honestly, like, watch Star Wars, and then you finish a movie, they're like, we did it! We looked, we did the thing. We saved everybody. And then the start of the next movie is just, the Republic is back in power. You know what I mean? So, like, Mitch McConnell, um, oh, the, the turtle, he's still around, unfortunately. Obviously, still around. Um, but look. When Donald Trump was elected president, I thought about all of my friends of color, all of my friends in the LGBTQ plus community, all of my international friends, and I knew that for four years, they were going to have their rights taken away, and it happened. And now, hopefully, things, let me rephrase that. Now I believe that the things that our government produces won't be attacking identities and won't be attacking individuals. Early in this video, I, this was, I was like two days ago. It's Friday, it's Saturday, Saturday morning. My phone's going off too. I think it is. I think the Republican party attacks people. And then the Democratic party gets mad at those attackings and they're like the, the, the Democratic mob. And I'm like, Bleh. I don't know. That's my thought at the moment though. <sighs> One of the, I, if, if you've been around my channel for a long time, you knew that when I was in Japan and I read bad news about Donald Trump, I felt a little safer because I wasn't like living it directly, you know? Like actually think back about the Obama years. They, they were pretty boring. He didn't liberate prisons, force corporations to pay more taxes, but also the Senate is literally like a joke. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fucking mess. It's outside the White House. Okay, hello. So it's, it's now Wednesday, November 11th, um, five days after Fox News has declared Joe Biden the president, and I wanted to post this video after Trump's resignation speech, but he hasn't done it yet. For, actually, he hasn't even spoken to the public yet. Um, there are many lawsuits going around, and after all of the lawyers that I've watched on YouTube, <laughs> there is no concrete evidence of widespread voter fraud. Um, let's just remember that he wasn't satisfied with the election results in 2016 either, even though he was declared victorious. And it's, it's really unfortunate because he's intentionally sowing division into our country. This is sad and disappointing. We knew it was gonna happen. And then Rudy Giuliani just went to the Four Seasons landscaping company and gave a speech in between a crematorium and a dildo factory. No, not a dildo, okay, it was like an adult bookstore that had dildos, um, you know, due to a scheduling error. Anyway, it's a burning ship and they're refusing to jump off. Um, Joe Biden has, has thrown life drafts to them and they haven't accepted them. And in turn, the Trump base is becoming more and more unhinged. And it's scary because they're the ones that own guns. And that's the country we live in. I really want this to be over. So bad. So bad. And, um, well, I, I hope you're all doing well. I've stated some opinions in this video. Um, if you have any information that contradicts something that I've said, I would love to hear it. I am a learner, and I like my opinions to be challenged. And it's when my opinions are successfully challenged that I make life changes. That's why I became vegan. Makes sense. 
<laughs> Scientifically, morally, stop eating animal bodies. You'll be healthier, happier, and so will the environment. Uh, you thought I wasn't gonna dab in this video? Um, I'd also love to know your thoughts on the election. I think, we're, I think we're all pretty clear that Joe Biden might be a pretty uninspiring president and that Mitch McConnell will continue to be the shell of a human. We know he is. It's a turtle joke. It's a turtle joke. But what's Afonka gonna do next? Nobody knows. See you next time. <laughs>